and welcome to Safari Montage Tips. Today's tip is about the Safari Montage Media Player. If you've ever logged in to Safari Montage and noticed that the video player is missing or perhaps there's just a big black box where it should be or perhaps you see something like this it means that the Safari Montage Media Player is not installed on the computer you're using and to get the full functionality out of Safari Montage. In fact, in many cases, even to just watch a video, you need to have that Safari Montage Media Player installed. So in today's tip, we're going to show you how to install the Media Player. Now, installing the Safari Montage Media Player is something you're primarily going to have to do on your home or other personal computer the media player is automatically installed on all school and district computers. The first step to downloading and installing the Safari Montage media player is to go to Safari Montage. So to do that I'm going to open a web browser and in this example I'm going to use Internet Explorer but you can also use Firefox or, or Google Chrome with Safari Montage. If you're on the Granite School District homepage, you can get to Safari Montage by hovering over the Employees menu and choosing it from that menu. Um, but you can also get to Safari Montage from any browser, anywhere, by typing in the URL, which is safari.graniteschools.org. Now if you go to Safari Montage on a computer that does not have the Safari Montage media player installed, it will usually give you this alert screen instead of the regular login screen. And this provides you a way to install the Safari Montage media player. So our first step to download and install the player is to click download now. And now this is going to vary depending on the browser you're using and the settings of your computer. Uh, sometimes your browser will download the file directly to a downloads folder. In this case, Internet Explorer asks if we want to save the file. And so I'm going to click Save, and it's suggesting to save it to the desktop. I'm just going to accept that and click Save and it's going to save that installation file to my desktop. Now I'm going to go to my desktop and find that file and it's called Media Player Windows and has some numbers after that indicating the version of the file that it is. But I'm going to double click on that file and then I'm going to choose Run and it's going to take me to this installation process and you'll have to click Next several times just has information and software licensing agreements. So I'll click Next and then I'll agree to their license agreement and click Next and I'll agree to where they want to install the program and click Next again. Now it says it's ready to install. I'll click Next. It will do the installation. It's pretty quick. Now it's done. I hit Close. Now the last step to the process is to close out our browser and then restart the browser. And so we're going to exit out of the browser, click on it to restart, and we have to do this so that the browser recognizes that the media player is now installed. Now we're going to go back to Safari Montage and we'll see the regular login screen instead of the yellow alert screen. Now I'm going to log in to Safari Montage using the same username and password that I used to log into my school computer. And I'm going to test to make sure that the media player is working properly. Already you can see that it's different. There's, there's some options and it's not a big black box. Uh, I'm going to play this video and it's starting to play and you can see I have various playback options and it appears to be working. There are some more resources and clickable links available on the instruction sheet that you can download um, accompanying this 
video. This has been a Safari Montage tip. Thanks for watching.